Good morning, everybody. Happy 4th of July if you're in the United States. Sorry about the yard crew up the road, but thought I'd come out here and do a little video this morning. Howard's going to pose for you guys. I love this um, old pile of wood because you just never know what will show up between the moss and the, the mushrooms and every once in a while a cat will pose for you. I've got another cat with me here. Tippy's off doing his thing this morning. And there's Callie. And there's these pretty little purple violet looking. I don't know exactly what these flowers are. Here, let me go in close. They're really pretty. It's not picking up the color worth beans. Let's see. I don't know if it's a, a violet or a vinca. Or something else but they're really really pretty and they're it's not really showing in the viewer finder but they're a very beautiful um, lavender and we still have a bunch of brush here to clean up we want to get all of this so that we can mow down in here um, then this tree that's back in here um, it's some kind of evergreen and I just love it. It's just the shape of it is pleasing So and if a baby one comes up, I'm going to try to pot it and move it with us But we still have our power line is still engulfed in that uh, um, Dogwood tree up there But we got it pretty clear it goes through this um black walnut tree. We hate to cut the black walnut tree. It's got black walnuts all over it. Oh, Callie spotted something. She brought me a snake last night. He was only about a foot long. But sounds like somebody's up out by their pool across the way. Got music playing. And we're going to stay up here because we don't want to drive on, on the 4th of July. So we're not going to go down until later this weekend. Uh, Scott's off for the next few days. I'll show you what I've done down here. This is just kind of a catch-up video. If, if you're here looking for crafts, it's not going to happen right now. There's my little shadow when I'm outside. She follows me everywhere. But I moved my pot arrangement from this side of the porch to this side and I've planted it up except I need another um, pot to set behind there for my trailing stuff but I planted some more things I've got petunias I love petunias and I can't remember the name of that but it's got a really pretty little yellow flower on it and then this is the flowering almond that I rescued from the other house. It's going to need to be put in the ground soon. It'll be pot, pot bound and then it'll be no good. And then I can't remember what those are either. I should have kept the tags. And then I got some ornamental grass for the big pot. I've had that pot since we first got married. I bought it at, if y'all can remember going to like uh, Myrtle Beach and you visit Waccamaw Pottery. I bought that at Waccamaw Pottery down at Myrtle Beach one year. So <laughs> that's how long I've had it. And the wind whipped my gorgeous fl flamingo around. Let's see if we can move her so she doesn't get flipped around so badly. I haven't even had any beverage yet this morning, so my throat feels all froze up. I still have to clean up that mess. And all the bushes need to be trimmed, but it rains just about every day. So let's walk around here. The bees love this thing. We've got bees all across on the other side. The wind put one of the chairs almost in the woods. There's so much debris we gotta pick up before we can mow the lawn. Ooh, smells like somebody sprayed the truck because I moved the truck down here to the driveway. I don't like to park down here when we're expecting a big storm because there's all these trees over here. And then ever since our son's 
truck got destroyed by a tree at our down at our house a few years back. I don't like to park near trees. <laughs> but you can see how dense the woods has gotten. And right down there, that's where the fox came out of the woods. He came out right onto the driveway and walked right across the driveway. That's why I worry about the cats when they're out here on their own. Ooh, it smells like a skunk's been through. I hope he's not still around. They're nocturnal usually, so maybe he's just a faint whiff of one. That's enough to make me wary. I want to get my, tr my chair back from the woods. But you can hardly see down to the creek now. That's another black walnut tree. Need to run the weed eater across all this. This English ivy's just killing the trees like crazy. Mm, you guys, I smell a skunky. Should I be wary, Callie? Mm. Can hear the bugs. At night, they're really loud. The cicadas, that's what that's making that noise. If you want to move to the south, keep in mind, there's a million bugs. <laughs> of all sorts. But this lot goes all the way back in, across up that ridge over there. We had asked Adele if she would sell us some of the three acres, but she doesn't want to break it up. I don't blame her. So we'll just keep looking. I'm afraid our our window to get what we need for the house is closing. Um, I think property values are going to plummet here shortly, and that that makes me worry. So I don't know. I'm trying not to worry. All it does is make you ill. But you can see the ivy up all the trees here. on the verge of killing that big one it's wrapped all the way around it it just it grows really tight and then the tree can't expand and then it just dies look at her isn't she pretty say hi hi Callie hmm? she's my talker she'll talk to us won't you you talk her she said I'm busy being cute right now <laughs> All right, well, here's the back of the little house. The, um, the house stops like right about there. And then the rest of it that you see that goes on beyond, that's just the porch where I can sit and do crafts or enjoy a cup of something. You can see it goes back a ways. It's a nice big porch. A whole bunch of people could sit out there. I guess I'll leave you with the view of the woods. Looks like we have a tree has leaned over on another tree over there on the side. And then there's the top of another one hung up in it. That's not safe. These trees are so tall. They go so far up. That's one thing you don't see in the center part of the straight state. Down near Columbia, the trees are nowhere near this tall. They've all been cut down. And when they do developments, this is something I'll never understand. When they do a development, they take everything down. There's not a tree left standing. They completely bare the ground. And it takes trees years and years to get mature. Wouldn't you want to leave some mature trees? I see here. We need to do some trimming. 
So we'll, I'm, I wonder now if we need to take the uh, truck with us so we can bring the pole saw back because we got to get these limbs off the garage because that'll rot the roof. That's how much rain we've gotten. This tree used to be way back and it's just a grown and grown. Yeah, I think we're going to need to bring that pole chainsaw back and cut those limbs off. All right, well, this is me just jibber-jabbering, thinking now. This is where I see all the fireflies. They come up out of all this debris. They love it. And it's moist down here because it's always shady. Okay, guys, well, have a happy fourth. And I will check back in with you later. Bye.